Hi, and thanks again for joining me on another episode of Sealed for Good. Why grip set? I'm sure you might be wanting to understand why I'm saying why grip set. This is an opportunity today for me to give you a bit more of a sales pitch on grip set. I don't always do this, I do talk about industry matters, but a lot of customers have later been on our website and have been asking about some of the products they've seen that are not entirely related to the traditional waterproofing space. And that is deliberate because our background is in product development and innovation. And we have a big part of our business, which is in areas that are not traditional waterproofing of uh, surfaces like roofs and bathrooms, but we also do things like pavements. And our pavement technology is quite unique. And all of our solvent-free and clever uh, ideas that we've put into our waterproofing um, products in the past, we've used into the pavement for over the last 15, 20 years. And we've got a big, big history in this area because my roots and background was in bitumen. And we used to deal with asphalt and still do. And that's an industry that's also changing with environmental laws and applications. And so our pavement business involves products that actually protect asphalt and concrete pavements where there's vehicle traffic. Now, many of you that watch weekly to, to get tips and ideas on how the industry can waterproof better, we've got some really good waterproofers out in the marketplace that offer some of these services to their client base. So it might be one that you don't underestimate. Keep watching because there could be products here of interest to you. So with our pavement business, we've got resurfaces for asphalt, and asphalt's are a unique surface. Unlike concrete that goes hard and cures, asphalt moves with the weather. So when you've got uh, hot weather, it softens. When you've got cold weather, it actually contracts and it goes harder. And because it's just under the pump from vehicle traffic all the time, oil spillages, it breaks down to water. All those cracks you see in roads or in car parks, that's all caused because of moisture. And once the moisture gets through the pavement uh, thickness of the, of, the, of the pavement and gets into the ground below, that starts to sometimes unravel asphalt and it gets worse. So we've got a couple of products in our range. One is called our P17. It's a unique water-based polyurethane product that's fuel resistant and trafficable. And that comes in multiple of colors. And a lot of our clients take that product because it doesn't oxidize. Normally with asphalt or bitumen coatings, when they're exposed to sun, they'll all oxidize. This product doesn't oxidize, so you retain the color you want. So we have a lot of car yards that want that pitch black, that night black or midnight black, they call it, that they want almost like this cloth here. And they want to retain that. If you put a bitumen product down or you lay new asphalt, if you track that over 12 months, you'll see that it'll go from black to charcoal, and then it just starts to oxidize worse. Products like our P17 will retain the blackness for 10 years it retains that color but what it does more importantly it stops residual moisture from getting into the slab uh, sorry into the asphalt pavement and breaking that down so you don't have the cracking the unraveling and also handle fuel resistance so if you've got parked cars in those areas and car parks etc it won't break down and it's available in all sorts of colors and we're going to bring something new in this space later on so those of you interested get on our website the p17 is the product you want to look at We've got its little brother product called B09, which is a bitumen version of that, what we call the poor man's asphalt, but that's used a lot in community centers where you can just resurface a asphalt pavement with a bitumen product that is trafficable, uh, and it also stops the moisture getting in, but it doesn't prevent that oxidization process, and it's available in three colors, black, black, or black, because it's bitumen. So just remember that, that's the restriction with that versus the P17. We have crack fillers. So all those little squiggly lines you see on roads, that technology over the years has changed where you've had hot carcinogenic bitumens being used to melt and go into those cracks. We've got a product called our B26 which actually penetrates the crack, solvent free, it's a cold lay application and really simple for our community customers in, in, with councils or uh, applicators out in, in regional communities that are doing that sort of work. But one you might find a niche for in your market with your client base. If you want inquiries on that, let us know. We've got a, a C26, a concrete version of that. And then we've got our big ARC membrane. This is a product that not many people see often in our range, but it's our anti-reflective system, which actually stops the cracking happening. Where you can lay, a sh it's a sheet, reinforced sheet, uniquely designed where it will actually stop reflective cracking in pavements. So that is ideal for bridge decks or for some serious applications uh, where you've got potential reflective cracking from the substrate below that breaks down asphalt. And that's where you've got car accidents happening because of potholes and, and the unraveling of asphalt pavements. So that's our pavement range. 
If you want to see that, it is on the website, but it's a unique piece of grip set. And in our payment industry, we're, we're quite a niche uh, market for that. For our, our brand is well known for that side of it. A few other products in that space, but if you're interested, get on there, let us know. We can help you with more inquiries on that. Many of you have come across our nanotechnology and our N17 is a product that we released last year and it's really flying for us at the moment and customers are starting to see the difference of that versus the traditional silicon based uh, sealers that, are, that might not change the colour of the surface but they've got to be reapplied more frequently. Our N17 is a once off application, it only breaks down to abrasion, concrete, timber, masonry it's on vertical and, and vertical, uh, horizontal surfaces but like I said it only breaks down to traffic. But the big, uh, or abrasion, or wear, but the big advantage of this is not just its resistance to moisture, but its resistance to other chemicals and fuels, uh, particularly oils, I should say, where you've got its oleophobic, oleophobic as well as hydrophobic. So hydrophobic is resistance to water, oleophobic to oils. And you can use this for backyard applications, particularly those of you involved with landscaping applications with sandstone or limestone pavers or porous pavers. It retains the natural look. You will not know it's down there until you try and pour a liquid on there and then you'll see the difference of how it will resist that uh, uh, fluid and allows it to not damage or stain your surface. So great products and that space is moving for us further. So if you want to know about those, particularly those involved in external landscaping applications, it's the N17. And the other unique products we've got is in our natural range and we deal a lot with those of our, our clients that are very focused on the environmental properties of uh, surfaces and buildings, particularly timber. There's a big renaissance with wood and timber products with architects and engineers these days. And so we've got products called WB1 and WB2. They are natural grade timber preservatives that are phenomenal in their application because they stop the breakdown of timber and wood surfaces from fungi, termites, uh, beetles, borers, etc. And the other advantage of them is they are actually fire retardant and fire resistant. And the WB2 has got huge fire resistant properties. But these are applications that, again, can uh, reverse the moisture um, rot content in timber. And so almost like a rust converter on metal, these products work the same on wood and timber products. And so some applications, these are very useful for waterproofers where you've got pot potentially timber beams that can start the wood rot process. We can brush them, brush this product or spray it onto those surfaces and will reverse that wood rot process and allows the timber to re uh, retain its integral strength which is very important particularly on load bearing surfaces so if you want more information on that you can contact our 1-800-650-435 number but it, they are unique because of the fact that they are natural there's no hazardous chemicals in them at all and if any wood ends up in landfill later on it's not an atmospheric or an environmental hazard and that's a big advantage and our last one in that natural range is our ST1 and this is a product that works similar to the WB1 in terms of its natural state, but it's for masonry surfaces to stop the efflorescence phenomena. And also, it's, it's used to treat efflorescence, and quite unique in the way it can be used on both the vertical and horizontal surface. Information on that is on our data sheets on our website, but again, this is a product that's quite technical, and if you want more details on it, find our 1-800 number, we're here to help, or throw us in an email inquiry, and we can give you some further details. If you'd like to know more about our non-core waterproof products that are in the grip set range that still make us the unique, innovative brand that we are, get on the website, call us, speak to your, your local sales contact or any of our resellers around the country because they can also guide you back to us if needed. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I'll see you in the next one.